Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. Here's what we have in store for you on this July 25th, 2013 edition. Tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News, 78 people killed and 100 injured after a train derails in Spain. Plus, the House rejects our Fourth Amendment rights. Then, an in-depth interview with investigative reporter Wayne Madsen following the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. Top story headline, Spanish driver who derailed train killed at least 80 people. Now it's saying the driver was driving about 120 miles per hour in the 50 mile an hour zone. And it said last year in March, he posted a picture of himself driving 125 miles per hour. I'm pretty sure that's against the rules. So we have a driver who is, uh, and you can see the footage right there on your screen. You can see the, uh, the driver driving the train very fast, loses control, the cars go off the track and into the camera. A very uh, unfortunate scene. There are definitely fatalities involved in that, and I said about 30, excuse me, about 80 people are estimated to be dead from that. You know, some people may die later of their injuries, but our thoughts and prayers go out to the people affected in this tragedy, and it's yet to be seen what exactly is going to happen to the driver as far as uh, any criminal prosecution, but we'll keep you up to date on that. Russia furious about NATO drills centered around foreign invasion of Poland. Now, keep in mind, this is the Russian military has been running drills uh, the last two weeks, simulating attacks against the U.S., Russia has slammed an upcoming NATO military exercise set to take place in the ex-Soviet Baltic Republics that centered around a foreign invasion of Poland and represents the organization's biggest training drill since the Cold War. Although expressing anger over NATO war games, which ostensibly simulate Russian attacks on Poland, Russia itself has conducted drills over the past two weeks that also represent their biggest such military exercises since the Cold War. And we've been following this here at the Info War we've had Articles for the past two weeks. And we also have this one, Russia orders snap drill of missile forces. Russia has ordered its missile forces to conduct snap drills in order to ascertain the readiness of putting intercontinental ballistic missiles on high alert within a short time frame. So there you go, Russia saying, I don't like it when NATO does it, and but Russia does it themselves. I'm not vouching for either one of these organizations or uh, representatives, but you know that's what they got going on.